The Småland Stavare, also known as Småland Hound, is one of the oldest dog breeds of Sweden, typically used for hunting, with loyal, gentle and protective temperament. Here are top 10 interesting facts about the Småland Hound. First of all, I would love to thank these Instagram profiles for letting me use their photos in this video. If you will like the Småland Stavare and you would love to see more of it, definitely check them out, links are in description. And now, let's jump into the video. Number 1. Origin the breed was developed in 17th century in historical Swedish province Småland. They are descendants of various European hounds from Germany, Poland and Baltic regions that were brought back to Sweden with returning Swedish soldiers. These dogs naturally crossed with each other and later they were also crossed with local Swedish Spitz-like farm dog, which created the foundation stock for the Småland Stavare. Number 2. Hunter the small and stavare was mainly bred by Swedish farmers as all-around hunting dog, specialized on hunting hare and fox, but also squirrels, birds or even large game such as moose. Farmers couldn't afford more hunting dogs, which is why the small and hound was trained to be independent hunter and they were not used to hunt in packs. This dog is using its strong sense of smell, deep voice and high endurance on the hunt, as well as its high prey drive and chasing instinct. Overall, it is very good hunting breed. Number 3. Not a Rottweiler Due to similar coloration, the Smallland Hound is oftentimes mistaken with Rottweiler or Doberman, but this breed has no links to these two dogs. They are much smaller than the Rottweiler and they have much slimmer face and the similarities are purely accidental and this truly is completely separate dog breed. Number 4. Companion of course, this is not only a hunter, but also amazing, lively, loyal and intelligent companion dog. They are very playful and affectionate dogs that create strong bond with its owner and family and they tend to be very protective over their loved ones. On the other hand, they are known to be suspicious and alert around strangers, but they should never be aggressive without a reason. Unlike many other hounds, these dogs were not used to work in large packs, which is why they do not need company of other dogs, but of course, they can be socialized to live with other dogs. Other household pets might be a little bit more problematic because of the high prey drive of small and hound. The small and stevare can be good playful partners for kids as well, but of course they should never be left with a very young child unsupervised. Number 5. Exercise it is important to say that the small and stevare is only suitable as companion pet for active owners and families. They are used to hunt all day long and they need some form of mental and physical exercise to stay healthy and happy and in good shape. It is absolutely essential to provide this dog with long daily walks, jogs, hikes, playtime, fun training sessions, etc. Otherwise they might become bored and possibly develop some unwanted behavior such as destruction. Number 6. Size the small and stevare is a muscular, robust, but still very athletic dog breed with almost square-shaped body. The average height is typically between 41 to 53 centimeters, which is 16 to 21 inches, and weight between 15 to 20 kilograms, which is 33 to 44 pounds. Females are naturally slightly smaller than males. Number 7. Coat and color. The coat of small and hound is in medium length and it is very coarse to touch. The coat is lying very close to the body and it is very shiny and straight. It is a double coated dog. The most common color is black and tan, but markings can range in color from shades of amber to a reddish brown. Number 8. Maintenance the dense double coat of small and stevare sheds some deal of fur all year long, more heavily during shedding seasons. Regular brushing is ideal to remove all the loose and dead hair and minimize the shedding. No other grooming is required. Just like with any other dog breed, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 9. Standardization for a long time, this breed was bred for a purpose rather than for appearance. Farmers needed a hunting dog and they didn't care how it looked. That is why the small and hound came in a variety of sizes, colors or different tail types even at the end of 19th century. 19th century is a date when selective breeding was put into practice and when the small and hound as we know it today was created. Today, the breed is recognized in many kennel clubs around the world. Next to Swedish Kennel Club, it is officially recognized by the FCI, UKC or CKC. Number 10. Health 
The average lifespan of this breed is around 13 or 14 years and it is not linked with any serious genetic health issues. Overall, this is very healthy and hardy breed. They can still suffer from typical doggy health issues like some allergies, infections, eye problems or joint problems, but none of these health issues shouldn't be extremely common in this dog breed. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about a small and stevare and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rockadogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.